Welcome back to the Spinner Booth, Salim. It's so good to see you again, my Tony, friend. Welcome to the Spinner Booth at IMTS 2024. Thank you so much. Now, you know, you know what I'm going to say first, right? 2022, no you had one machine. We did. <laughs> one machine. We did. We're looking at five now. Five. That's two years of difference. I know. What in the world? That's incredible. This market is just asking us to do more, and we are delivering. We can't be mad at that, can we? No, no. <laughs> We're so thrilled to be able to have that opportunity. The reaction has been fantastic. Everybody is very happy with the product. And we're just building fantastic relationships for every customer. Well, nobody can be mad at your German engineering. <laughs> you know, we, we, we've been into Europe. We, yeah. We're here now. Yeah. We're letting the world know what's going on. And when you have those trustworthy, reliable customers that you continue to have with those customer testimonials, that's why it grows. Yep. It's that word of mouth. It's that marketing team that yep. you have. And it, But it all starts with quality. Right. Absolutely. I mean, look, we have uh, some of the best build machines in the world with innovation, with quality, with precision, and people are taking notice. So that's what takes us from one to five. Well, Salim, I think you and I could probably brag and name drop all day long, but a lot of our audience loves to see technology. Right. Let's so do should it. we take them and yeah, show them some yeah. of your new unique I think technology? That's what they want to see. Absolutely. I agree. So let's head this general direction, my friends. We're gonna invite you as well because you have some cool setups here. And some of the we things do. I like about your machines, along with the technology, of course, and this one being one of my favorites, you got triple turrets, twin spindle. We talk about this a lot, right? We talk about flexibility, we talk right. about being able to multitask. This yeah. is a multitasking whiz kid at this point, that's right? right. But yeah. it all starts with the foundation on the right. way up for vibration dampening and making sure you get those parts. That's right. What is happening is that it's becoming a profit center for our customers. They're able to operate at a level that they never had before. Lights out, machining, high precision, uh, a versatility. And the ability to, look, when you are acquiring a piece of equipment like this, not only your customers are happy because you're delivering on time, your operators are happy because they got the best in class. So this is what you're looking at here. Yeah, best in class. And some of the techniques that I absolutely enjoy when it comes to machining is I didn't have the great opportunity when I was machining on my two axis, three right. axis machines to do cool things like pinch turning, right? I mean, right. the ability to do these done in ones, you have the bar feet on the back yep. to run lights out, put them in a box afterwards and multitasking. How much time, how much money, how many resources are we saving by not having one, two, three operations after this machine getting That's it done right. in one place? It's very specific to go from four operations to one operation from maybe 10 minutes to two minutes of a cycle time, right? To have the ability to have three turrets working on every uh, side of the machine at the same time, to multitask in that way and get your chips out of here in an efficient way. It's just a package that people are, are needed and they're looking for. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I like that you said chips as we walk over to the other one. So what I really enjoy about this chip conveyor is how high up it goes that you can stick a big box under there because yes. if I'm machining a ton of material yes then I'm making a lot of chips and I can't don't want to waste time removing a bucket putting a right. bucket remove this is very clever by spinner right it's very clever also I will point out Tony 24 inches in width ah good point So what you're finding here is the ability to efficiently get chips out of the machine for a production environment you must have it yeah you can have a collection of ships getting in the way of your process. I'd make the discussion with you that that might be oversighted in a lot of areas and a lot of places, right? right. But it's very so German. yeah, <laughs> very German indeed. I, I like this machine as well, Salim, and I'll yes. tell you why is because I don't really see this anywhere else. Yes. And what we're looking at for the audience watching as we get the camera guy to come a little closer is a five axis and a three axis inside the same machine. Salim, what's the purpose of this? So this is a mill, right? And what I when I see this mill. It's the U5-1530, I think flexibility. I'll tell you that for job shops around the world, this is our number one seller. Because if you're a job shop and you have the ability in one machine to have full five axis, a three axis table, maybe the opportunity to do four axis work, and the flexibility that comes, not only what a state of the art control, like this hide and hide, but pallet changing, automation with robots, and any other system that is available in the market, from Spinner Automation as well, you have a combination that gives a job shop the opportunity to take jobs they might not be taking otherwise. 
Yeah, and you actually brought up what I was just getting ready to say was, is this also spinner built, this automation? Because sometimes there can be an argument between machine and automation about yes. functioning together, right? Yes. And in this situation, it communicates perfectly. Yeah, the, the interface is perfect. We got partners in some of the components that we utilize, but in a lot of the automation components, we make them ourselves. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. As we walk over to the other machine, yeah. I want to bring up something that we kind of didn't discuss, but it should be brought up as we go from machine to machine. And on the on the uh, triple turret twin spindle machine over there, when I think about multitasking, being able to do more, which we can do in this five axis machine that we're walking up right. to now, I always think about floor space. Yeah. Floor space, Salim, if I can do more inside of one machine and I'm financially strapped or yep. let's say physically strapped because I'm in a busy area of a city right. to have more machines in floor space, if I'm doing more, that makes all the difference in the world as well. If yes. I'm bringing in more jobs and want to grow yeah uh, one of the most important points for a job shop for any machine shop is the floor space it's always at a premium so that's one of the characteristics of all our spinner machines we put more in a small area we we are very compact but also very ergonomic mm -hmm. so what you saw in the lathe and you are seeing in all the other machines is the ability for an operator right that has to stand in front of a machine for 10 hours to survive in a way that maintains their health. Their ergonomics are protected because they're able to maneuver around this machine like you will maneuver around your desk, right? Or around your microphone. It's their workplace, right? This is what they do for a living. So we think of the operator when we're building the machines. Yeah, I think that's important to understand when we talk about we know the floor space. I want to dive into five axis machining just as a general because that's what we're looking at right now, Salim, is five axis machining. Yep. I would, again, I've talked to leaders on leaders, much like yourself being a leader. And there are people that are utilizing their three axis machining in a significant way. You know, they're adding quick chains, they're adding automation robots and cobots, and maximizing what can be done on a three axis machine. But moving forward, five axis is almost the minimum these days to really get parts done and out Correct. the door when we think about that style of vertical machining, right? Right, right. So this style of vertical machining is, of course, it's going to give you not only a beautiful finish, but flexibility, right? You're able to now take a part that you were maybe utilizing two or three operations, maybe two or three machines, and do it into one operation. Uh, and if you add to that the ability to automate, so of our five axes like this one, you can put a robot on the side, you could put a pallet changer, and it gives you the sense that you can actually push the button and walk away. Right? To have that confidence and that when you come back, the parts are done. That's what we're talking about automation. And again, you know, when, you, when people say you have the confidence to push the button and walk away, my old machinist comes brewing up in my heart yeah. and I go, oh, <gasps> I'm not I sure know. I can walk away. But trustworthy machines like Spinner do allow for that confidence to walk away. That's and right. I'm not going to smash something, crash something, destroy a part, waste material, break end mills, that kind of stuff that I used to suffer from whenever I walked away from an That's unreliable right. machine. Right. No, we're committed to making sure that you feel comfortable, that the quality of part that you're going to get out of our machines is the best you've ever done. Because we know you're proud of your work, and we want to give you the tools to get there. All right, Salim, you know I've been counting because we started with one two years ago. We're yeah. at five today. Yeah. We're at three at the moment. Let's, Let's head inside and take a look at these other machines as well. It's really enjoyable to watch you grow, Salim. You and Thank I you. are actually friends, like friends off camera, friends on camera. We appreciate and we respect one another for our ability to, to work in this industry and inspire others to understand manufacturing and how it can benefit their shops. We're yes. of service to this industry, which is why we're that's friends. Right. So that's just my little segue from one machine to another. Now let's talk about the machine this looks like it has a nice little trunnion in there as well yeah so this is a very versatile machine we were talking about the floor space right so you see it right here this is not a very big machine you maybe have 10 by 10 here uh, compact design that can pack a lot of punch right here you got a height and height control the ability also to do a fan and control five axis table and then a side table to help you with the side operations so it gives you a lot of flexibility and the ability to do things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do in just a simple five axis machine. You know what I like about this machine as well, Salim? Tell me. If our audience can watch as our camera guy pulls out from the machine, look at all the window and space to see inside, That's to see right. what my part looks. Look how well lit it is. These cosmetics are important as well. And those are standards. These are not for the show. Uh, you can also see the way cover there. This is an exclusive design for us, but it gives you its longevity in your machine. It gives you the ability to make sure those chips 
don't go flying around and creating problems with the Waco. Can I tell you how many times I've had to rip apart a, ma a machine in my day I'm to sure clean the way once. covers? <laughs> so many times the way covers are so I'm happy you brought that up as well. That's we right. have one more machine, discussionably both of our favorites. I know it's incredibly popular. Who doesn't love this, a mill turn machine that have the ability to do done in ones? This has become the crown jewel, Tony. The, the crown uh, jewel, I yeah, like that. Absolutely. I mean, because you know, you stand here and you look at this machine. You, we see a lot of machines, right? Just like this young man is doing right now. I look it's just admiring beautiful. the machine. It is beautiful, right? So, so we we can look at this thing as a pinnacle of mechanical engineering, right? Submicron precision, versatility, productivity, and automation in one package. Let's. It's because we're closing out with this machine, because yeah. it is the crown jewel, Salim, yeah. what do you believe Milturn brings to the table that no other machine can bring to the table? For people who are considering my three axis, my five axis, yep. my triple turret, my twin spindle, everything that can be an option, yep. where does Milturn come into play? Yeah, this particular Milturn is going to give you uh, the ability to tackle to machine complex parts with very intricate uh, geometry in a very precise sub-micron way. So you're going to be pulling a lot of uh, shapes, even for example here with the B-axis, a lot of people are doing five-axis work. Uh, with the turret, you can do a lot of milling with different angles that you wouldn't otherwise been able to do. You can see the spindles are moving up and down, that you can also even put a bar feeder or a robot here. Uh, the hard turning is something that you can do in this machine that you wouldn't be able to do in many other machines. So flexibility, uh, the ability to tackle very difficult parts in a very precise way. One thing I want to bring up as I see this giant screen here, Salim, is look how clean, big, and yep. seemingly user-friendly and informative this screen is. Yes. And I think this is how we'll close it out, but I have to bring this up because walking around, this is important as well, isn't yes. it? And I think this is indicative of how we perceive manufacturing. Uh, operators, machinists, are professionals. And a professional needs to have the best possible equipment in front of them so that they can do their job. And they can do it in a dignified way that they can be proud of. And I think that with this kind of equipment, you can wake up every day, be in front of it, 10, 20, and be proud of the technology and the work product that you are making in your machine. Very well said, Salim. You and I have spent a lot of time together closing this thing out. Let's leave the audience with yep. a message. We've done a booth tour. We opened up with one to yep. now five. We know Spinner's been around since 1948. We know you're growing here in the U.S. We know yep. it's German engineering. What do we leave with the audience right now? I think the most important thing is that we are committed to your success. We're not here just to sell you machines. We're in it with you. We want you to succeed and you're part of uh, our commitment to making that success possible. Have I told you today that you're my hero? No, but you can. <laughs> appreciate your time, appreciate thank the you, tour. Thank, thank you for you the so technology much. information and thank you all for watching. If you spent your valuable time, time is the one thing we cannot manufacture more of. No matter how good Spinner and, and Salim are, we cannot manufacture more time. Right. So if you spent it with us, thank you so much, we appreciate you.